Record attendance at this year's Unite for Troops was the first indication of how much the event has grown. But the biggest indicator? The way the need has grown. Hey, we're in Africa now, or we're in Iraq, we're still in Kuwait, or we're in Afghanistan. And so they have contacted us. Darlene Dean is the Unite for Troops coordinator. The team has been busy responding to those calls for help from far and near. Like Camp Dyer, it's a new, uh, a new facility, 250 beds, but they have no twin sheets or blankets. So they're sleeping in their sleeping bags. So they've collected linens and toiletries and snacks to ship overseas. The items have uh, been donated and we uh, separate them out. Then they take a, bo a care box and they individually go get to fill up the care box. It costs Unite for Troops about $20 per box to ship. So we want to get it as heavy as we can. And sometimes the torture items don't add that much. So that's when we add uh, candy and stuff like that as a, as a filler. So I tell them, shake it up good. Porter's Army Navy store has hosted Unite for Troops every year since 9-11. Founders Cindy Porter and Steve Porter are notoriously camera shy, but they are relentless in their passion to help our soldiers. That help might come as comfort, like this flag ceremony. Every year we have a flag ceremony and the Boy Scouts or our troop that honors those flags cuts them up into strips and then we have somebody read about what each color is and then the veterans and the Boy Scouts and whoever will take turns and burn it into it and that is the proper way to destroy our American flag. Uh, it is a ceremony of thanks. The help might also come as an opportunity to let their hair down and just have some fun. The event has drawn others in the community who want to help our soldiers and vets like Rachel Herrera with the Project 22 documentary. And we want to let our veterans know that there's help and there's hope and they're not alone. Um, you know, they go through so much there and when they come back. And, um, you know, we just need to let them know that there's, there's hope and there's help for them. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.